Basically, I'm trying to use my torch to shine, to illuminate the screen. As you can see, the ITEL logo right there. If you can see the ITEL logo, that means the backlight is not working. The backlight is also broken. But if you want to learn how to repair this backlight, I'm going to make another video on this phone, how I repaired the backlight. So make sure you watch, all right, the part two of this, of this video. So and this was how i was able to repair the backlight so the first thing is to identify the backlight section with your schematic diagram please if you don't know how to use schematic diagram join my online training now our main focus right now is the diode okay we're going to trace the diode right to the lcd clip okay and after you you you, you trace it you see it's coming to this first line all right first pin on the clip okay so the next thing you are going to do is to use your multimeter to take reading okay to take continuity reading if the line is open then your multimeter is not going to read but if the line is closed then it's going to read all right so the first thing we are going to do is to open the shield as the schematic diagram has helped us to identify where the light uh, section is so now we have to open the shield it's very important that you open the shield with care don't use too much heat on the on the, on this section and look at it this is exactly what we saw on our schematic diagram but our focus is going to be on that diode anyway but before we uh go ahead we need to get our multimeter put your multimeter on diode mode and take reading of that diode okay take reading of that diode all right because that's the line that goes that that that's, that goes to the to the um connector the lcd connector that uh that triggers the light okay so measuring the diode the diode is good and it's good this is a good reading so if you don't get this reading if you get 0 0.002 that's a short on that diode all right so now i'm going to be taking reading on that um that connector but as i'm taking the reading i saw there is a rust on that line there is a rust on that line that is very important to do physical inspection on that first pin there is a rust which i'm going to show you on my microscope right now so we are going to work on that line on that pin because that pin is damaged two ways to repair the pin is either you replace it completely or you do what i'm doing right now because the pin i mean the part where the pin is being soldered on is rust if you remember the history of this phone it was having water damage and the phone was not even switching on at all before we worked on the phone and the phone was switching on body it has backlight issue now we are going to work on the first pin so this is how you work on the first pin if you don't have the um lcd connector okay i've tried now i've 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 tried to read with my multimeter as well uh in the in the back of the scene and i saw there was an open circuit so we're not just repairing the pin we're also making a jumper all right from that diode to this first pin okay remember this is the first pin that triggers the light on the lcd screen so we are making a jumper um you, you can see the the tip of my sodium ion is a bit big when you're using yours make sure you use a tiny uh bit all right but um i'm using my multimeter to read right now and i can get a good reading now if you want to know more about how to repair backlight issue please contact the number on the screen and join our online training we are going to give you ad adequate informations on how to troubleshoot all mobile phones and repair them okay so now you can see my jumper wire is very long this is just to test run once we are done test running and we, we see that the the light is on it is very important as a technician to pack your wire properly i always say this if you are conversant with my channel okay but this is just to see if the phone will work if it works we're going to cut the wire short and we'll pass it we we'll pack it properly so that when we couple the phone the wire the jumper wire does not break okay if you want to know also how to um how to repair phone or how to troubleshoot and you are struggling as a technician please dm us on the number on the screen our online training is very much available as you can see the phone is working perfectly right now the phone is working well and it's working accurately thank you guys for always watching our videos and the comments i read all the comments thank you for encouraging this channel and i will 
see you again in my next video peace